I tell you, it's getting harder and harder um, the older I get um, to get through a day of work. And it's more or less full time work. So I'm pretty worn out, even though I make it a point to work out almost every day. But you know, I'm 68 damned years old. And it's really starting to, really starting to hit. And. I've never, I, you know, I've never regained the income I had when I lost a job back in 2008, illegally lost it, and it's just been playing catch up all these years, and it was a lot of part time for years, and next month I'm sp probably going to get an adjustment on my social security again. And it needs to be more than 10 or $12 a month. Fuck's sakes. I've been in this goddamn labor force 45 years. And I need to get a hell of a lot more than that. If I'm making, making way more than I did, say, 10 years ago. And I had some zero years. That should make a hell of a lot bigger difference. I shouldn't have to work till I'm 90 years old. And anyway... Uh, but I'm very tired. And, yeah, you know, there's not a lot to even comment about that I care to comment about. But, yeah, these dipshits on the religious right. And this is the thing. You can't make... I've talked about it before a few videos back about making nice with the right. You can't make nice with them because, especially feminists and women on the left, you can't make nice with these people because they don't see you as a human being. You're supposed to be fucked and fucked over by a husband and bear children, and that's all you're for. Okay? Completely uh, opposite of what women's rights are supposed to be. It's just the right to be screwed and screwed over. That's all they care about. And they just, they just couch it better than men on the left. But anyway... Yeah, we know what their ultimate goal is. This is some article about Arizona Mirror, probably an alternative paper. Um, and what is it called? The National Association of Christian Lawmakers has been a, responsible for at least 15 pieces of model legislation introduced, and in some cases passed by state legislatures around the country. Its website lists about 60 state chairs and national advisory member, board members. But the organization claims over a thousand supporting members elected officials. Yeah, it really works. They're going to try to shove this shit down people's throats. The re this is a secular country. It always has been. And hopefully it always will be a secular country. And people can believe whatever they want. And, and are not any belief. It's not a Christian nation. It never was. And... I remember years ago when I volunteered, I was in high school, and I volunteered at a school, at a local elementary school. This is over 50 years ago. And I helped this one teacher who had been my fourth grade teacher. And she would always talk about how the United States was a Christian country. And, I, and when she was done talking to the kids, I corrected her. It's not a Christian country. Oh, yes, it is. Went around and around and around and around. Of course, I was right. It's never been a Christian country. But that doesn't mean these people won't stop trying in their, their little um, new apostolic reformation or whatever the hell it's called. That's just kind of a, a, an offshoot or a ripoff, probably a ripoff of that Rush Duty crap of Christian Reconstructionism. They think if they get, could get the country's all theoc theocratic, then Christ will come back. And it's all a perversion of the Bible anyway. It's complete perversion of it. But, yeah, they might have gotten certain things passed, especially if it has to do with abortion. But it's a massive failure. They're finding out all this stuff is a failure. It's going to fail. And then they don't stop there either. Now we have, not now, um, Mother Jones had this article about it's they want to bring back the idea of fault divorce. Oh my god. It's like these idiots don't have any idea 
why the hell the laws were liberalized. It was just a horrific abuse of the law to try to find fault. And they and these people think that abor or think marriage is a covenant and not a contract. No, it's not a covenant. It's a contract. It's always been a contract. It's always been secular. For fuck's sakes. It always has been. And in fact, the human race existed long before there was marriage. And no, it is and it is dishonest to say, well, there was mar there was always been marriage like um, things that have happened throughout ever since the beginning. But no, that's not it. People shacked up. And they had kinship relationships. But marriage is a specific thing. And the whole purpose of it, it it's patriarchal. And the purpose of it was twofold. One, to guarantee that any, well, any kids uh, resulting in such marriages were belonged to the man since the man was the human and two it was a property transfer arrangement from father to husband with women and kid women not kids but women being part of the property and also um an inheritance it's very secular it's always been that way and the religions embraced it later on because it was a good way to ensure they're uh, continuing to exist. And so, it's not a sacrament. Sorry. And it's something that really needs to die out. I'm, I'm kind of a radical on that. I just think it's the biggest bunch of crap that was ever designed. Because the whole point of it is that women have to trade sex for it to get any of the so-called protections. They keep yammering about all the protections. That shouldn't be there. There shouldn't be any bennies at all. There shouldn't be tax breaks for it. There shouldn't be uh, social security benefits uh, rewarding women to fuck a man without ever having to work or even being divorced after 10 years that you can get an is entire SS. And women like me who work our goddamn our entire goddamn lives and didn't fuck a dude uh, get a pittance. You tell me. How the hell that's fair. But it was they never did that. That was never done until after World War II. And the desire to up the population. And they did and they did similar stuff in Europe, not because it was for women's benefit, it was to get the population to, in, to increase because the war was so devastating and stuff. So anyway. Um, that's kind of my rant about that and kind of on a little I'm not going to bring it up but there was some gal on TikTok I think it was and she was like 29 years old or something and she had a little video that talking about how she was content being never being married and not having kids only 29 right not 68 like me 29 years old and Male commenters like Matt Walsh and Ben Shapiro lost their shit. They totally lost their shit over the fact that she was never married. Men just lose their shit over this. And I think the reason is they're, they're heavily dependent on the marriage system. They'll always bitch about it and whine about it. But you know, um, they benefit from it from subjugating women and they've rigged the economy at, in a such a way that women are coerced into it it's all it's all by men and for men but i just couldn't believe how they lost their shit about it over this woman that just had an itty bitty video and was talking about it but of course that woman is at the age where you where they start getting pressured to do it and men don't get the pressure that women do to get married because women are just things to fucking bear babies and that's what that's all about that's you know you're not fully human and i would suggest this woman if she if she was living close to her parents and i don't know the background or anything 
but I would suggest she do like I did and move several hundred miles away from them and just keep them at a distance. And of course I'm back where I grew up, but so much of the family's gone now, either dead or relocated and stuff. Um, it's not an issue, but it's really tough. When you're late 20s into about age 35 or 40 max, that you get through that that pressure of it. But I, yeah, I couldn't believe men losing their shit over that. But they're going to try. They're going to try. Especially men on the right. They're going to try to get women back in there. And whether they make it tougher for birth control, get birth control and or contraception and abortion or whatever they do or they limit divorce or whatever the hell they do, they they're going to try they are going to try to control women again and that the horse left the barn a long time ago the train left the station a long time ago and nobody's ever going back to that going back to that crap again of the 50s anyway um so that's uh i this is going to fail we don't need uh legalized domestic abuse again and just like the abortion thing, the anti-abortion crap, it's gonna ultimately it's gonna fail because women have finally learned how. At least enough of them have learned to say no to uh, male dominance. Anyway, on that happy note, I am done for tonight.